This is question 7. We're told the line with equation y equals 10 cuts a curve with equation y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2 at the points a and b as shown in figure 1. The figure is not drawn to scale. In part a it says find by calculation the x coordinate of a and the x coordinate of b. The question carries two marks. If y is equal to 10 and y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 2 we can use simultaneous equations to solve for x. I can simply write the x squared plus 2x plus 2 will be equal to 10. Subtracting the 10 from both sides, x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. A basic quadratic to factor, we're going to have x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 0. That will give us now the solutions x is equal to minus 4 or x is equal to 2. So we can see now from our diagram that the x coordinate of a is going to be minus 4, the y coordinate is going to be 10. We don't answer that, but we have it anyway. Then with b, we're going to have positive 2, comma 10. So for two marks, a is minus 4 and b is 2. We're now told the shaded region r is bounded by the line with equation y equals 10 and the curve as shown in figure 1. In part b, we're asked to use calculus to find the exact value of r. The question carries seven marks. There are a few different ways to look at this. The way I think I'm going to do it is to simply draw a rectangle and the rectangle will come down from A to the x-axis and that's going to have a length of 10. Then we're going to come down from B to the x-axis and that will also have a length of 10. So if I just drew what we have now, we've got a rectangle with a height of 10 and a base of the difference between these x coordinates. That difference is 6. So we've got now 6 and 10. So the area is going to be 60 square units. From this, I'm going to subtract away the integral of this function from minus 4 to 2. Remember, when we integrate between the limits, we can find the area trapped under the curve. So what I'm going to do is find this area right here which is going to be from minus 4 to positive 2, and then simply subtract it away from the area of the rectangle, which is 60. So we're looking now at the integral from minus 4 to positive 2 of x squared plus 2x plus 2, and we're integrating now with respect to x. So it's going to be 60 minus. If I integrate this now, I've got x squared. Integrating x squared will be one third x cubed. We raise by a power and divide by the new power. Raise by a power, divide by the new power, that's going to give us plus x squared plus 2x. And we're interested in this now from minus 4 to positive 2. So all I'm going to do is write down here now that this is going to be 60. We're going to be subtracting away from the 60 one third of two cubed. So we've got one third of eight. We're now going to add two squared, which will be plus four, and we're going to add plus two x, which is going to be another four. Subtracting away, we're going to now evaluate minus four. So that's going to be one third of minus 64. If I cube minus four, I get minus 64, plus uh, minus 4 squared, which is going to give me 16, and then we're going to have minus 8. You can go ahead and tidy this up. I'm simply going to put it for a calculator and find the value. So if we take a calculator, I'm going to look at this part first, and this is going to be 8 over 3. Then we're going to have now plus the 8, and then we're going to subtract away from that the minus 64 over 3. So just plugging this in here, minus 64 divided by 3, and then we're going to add to this 8. So let's go ahead and do that. Plugging this in, plus the 8, that's going to give us now 24. So we have 60 minus 24, which is going to be equal to 36 square units. So 7 marks in total for part B, and a few different approaches that you could have taken.